Anheuser Busch is next. Anheuser Busch InBev. It's now, without doubt, the world's largest brewing company. It has everything from the United States brands like Budweiser and Corona. Through Stella, Artois and Bex, it incorporates all of the SAB Miller brands. Now that that transaction has been effected, they've lost some of the brands that SAB Miller had. So now you have this Leviathan globally. Market capitalization, $176.46 billion. It's listed in all sorts of places, including here in Johannesburg. Whoop, whoop. Price to earnings ratio, 43.95. There's a lot going on under the hood there. Dividend yield, 3.39. But, I mean, there's a lot of debt. There's a, very difficult to compare prior periods. How do you feel about it now? You can buy them today on the market. Yeah. Last set of results came out a week or so ago, and they were very uninspiring. Mm. But, uh, you know, I think we, 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 we came to expect that, given the fact it's going to take a long, long time to digest this very, very large uh, acquisition of SEB mm. Miller. All so, the costs associated with yeah. that, some hedging issues, yeah. some debt that they raised but then could settle from the proceeds of some of the dispositions disposals yep. and, and and look these guys are masters at playing around with debt make no mistake mm. one of the things we have to understand with ab and bev though paul is that uh, most if not all of the growth that we've seen in this company over the past 20 odd years has been predicated on acquisitions mm. and this last one is the the the, the, the big Crowning daddy of them glory all. absolutely <laughs> yeah. so you have to sit down and say well what next? And we've, we've, we've talked uh, to, to about the possibility of a very similar market cap company, Coca-Cola. Now, that would not be a takeover. That really would be a merger. Mm. These guys don't understand mergers. You know, there has to be, there can only be one. There can be only one. So they are say. normally, they acquire companies and yes. then they become the dominant culture. And they get rid Whereas of the entire Coke has already yes. sort of had a lot of work done in it. Yeah. Mukhtar Kent, the CEO, is a very strong character. So it's perhaps going to be less obvious uh, yes. combination. That's what about right. the Brazil numbers? Because a lot of people were saying uh, that at AB InBev's home base, Brazil, looked terrible. When I was in Brazil about a year ago, there were people drinking all the time, all over the place. So I can't believe that it was a bad year for beer sales in Brazil. Yeah, honestly. and look, there's been a bit of a pickup this year because the uh, the Olympics uh, were a, a roaring success. Yeah. And because of that, you've seen a lot of people drinking an awful lot more beer. Uh, I mean, they dominate in Brazil. So, uh, yeah, but it's just a generalized consumer slump there. Yeah. One would imagine at some point they're going to bottom out and do a little yeah. bit better. Brazil's a funny one. I mean, if you look at their economy, down, what, 3.5% this year, mm. maybe mm. getting into pods of territory next year, the stock market is absolutely flying up, what, 80% year to date in dollar terms. So the real is, is going an awful lot stronger. I think there's an awful lot of optimism about Brazil as an economy. Well, that's good. So because yes, a lot of be that GDP better. slide has to do with mining yeah. uh, and commodity prices being yes. low. But when I sense the spirit in the, I mean, I was in Rio and Sao Paulo, so that's probably not fair, but the economy didn't look too bad to me. It's a remarkably sophisticated economy. And as far as AB InBev is concerned, do you think having lost the China CR Snow brands and having been forced to bullet a couple of the European brands that it's got sufficient heft? I mean, in the United States, it's also lost the Miller and other assets there, Coors stuff that had to go. If anything, that could be a better outcome than what we had before. It's amazing. They've got rid of almost everything that SAB Miller built up in the past decade or so. Yes. What they, they really, uh, the big jewel in the crown, has, was, is Africa. Africa is now, the they problem want. they have with Africa is twofold. One, they don't have the management at the top because it's all gone now, it's left mm -hmm. uh, with SAB Miller. And secondly, the African growth story is, is cooling significantly. Mm. So that presents a little bit of a problem for them. Yes. Uh, beyond that, in the longer term, I'm sure they'll do very, very well. But short to medium term could be slightly problematic for them. So not hot? Not hot on AB and We're going to say not hot now, just perhaps just sort of buy the void for the time being. Right.